After the recent winter storms dumped a whole lot of water right on top of our mountains, we're now checking in on our local reservoirs. I'm Juliette Lamar, your community reporter in Santa Barbara, learning about how these high water levels are impacting our communities and our water supply. Over the past few months, a lot of rain has fallen in Santa Barbara County. So I asked Matt Young with Santa Barbara County what impact it's having locally. We had a very wet rain year last year, more than 200% of our annual average. And so uh, we filled all of our surface water reservoirs and we started to make progress in refilling our, our groundwater basins. Lake Kachuma, Jamison, and Gibraltar Reservoir are all full, but it's not just water that's filling up the lakes. We have very young mountains here and they're very erodible. So every time it rains, uh, a lot of sediment gets washed into the, all three reservoirs here on the San Inez River. Siltation is especially a problem for Gibraltar Reservoir, which provides 40% of water to the city of Santa Barbara. The reservoir's capacity has decreased by 30% since 1920 due to erosion and wildfires, according to Santa Barbara County. There have been numerous studies done on how to remove this silt and what the cost effectiveness of it would be. And the results of all of them on nearly all of these reservoirs is that it is not cost effective to remove it. Lake Kachuma also experiences siltation, but has a much larger capacity. Kachuma also has lost some of its volume over the years and its overall capacity is diminished as it fills up, but there's still you know, roughly 193,000 acre feet of storage uh, still. And so as you can see, there's a lot of water to be used. Which is one reason why Dakota Corey with the city of Santa Barbara says she's confident in the city's water reserves. Our water supply situation right now is great. The city actually has the most diverse water supply um, portfolio in the state. So what that does is it allows us to switch supplies when one is dwindling. Meaning Santa Barbara has access to the state water project, groundwater, and desalination. Plus, Corey says people in Santa Barbara are very good at conserving. We use the same amount of water that we used in 1950, even though our population has more than doubled since then. Now that the basins are full, some water will need to be released, and communities like Solving, Yulton, and Lompoc could be affected. Right now, the release is fairly minimal, uh, but uh, as releases get bigger, uh, the, the Santa Barbara County Office of Emergency Management and the Federal Bureau of Reclamation, they issue warnings to folks downstream to let them know there's going to be higher flows than previously uh, in the river. Although we have more than enough water now, Young stresses the importance of continued conservation. The last time before last year that Kachuma spilled was 2011, and almost immediately we went to the worst drought we've ever had. In Santa Barbara, Juliette Lamar, KSBY News.